Dave Ridley here signing in with a provisional update on Liberty News in New Hampshire. No, that's not a picture of me. That is another videographer who was recently arrested. Sam from the Obscured Truth Network, ObscuredTruth.com, is a keen resident, doesn't use a last name, uh, to my knowledge, and he was arrested for attempting to videotape uh, an arraignment, my arraignment, on, a on uh, April 13th. I have some updates regarding his status. First of all, uh, one of the other liberty activists, Ivy Walker of Grafton, New Hampshire, attempted to visit him in jail uh, at the Westmoreland Jail in Westmoreland, New Hampshire. And uh, the, she says, she reports that the guards were helpful. However, um, he does not consent to going wherever they want him to go. And if they want him to go see her, He's going to make them drag her, so no meeting actually occurred, and it was, uh, you know, a result of him, you know, refusing to walk where they tell him to. He was dragged all the way into jail from Keene District Court for refusing to turn off a video camera uh, in the court lobby. He believes that uh, he has the right to record there and that it would be illegal for them to stop him. So he believes he's being illegally detained. So this is his, I guess it would be Sam held hostage day... Four. Uh, I also want you to know that there was apparently an organizational meeting scheduled in Keene. I believe it happened last night uh, where Sam's supporters gathered to flat strategy. And I think they may have invited the media to that. If you want to send mail to Sam, there's no need to, uh, you don't have to break out a pen and paper or anything. You can just, uh, you can go to a site, uh, mail to, uh, it's mail-2-jail.com. Mail-2-jail.com. Something that rhymes with com. They're one of my advertisers. And what you can do is just email them the note that you would like Sam to have in jail. So mail-2-jail.com to uh, write him, and writing jailed activists is very important to support them. Um, I also have a little, uh, an, an, another couple pieces of news that are not related to Sam. Uh, Police Sergeant Eli Rivera of Keene um, has sent me an email with a offer, a settlement offer regarding my arrest in March for the same thing, videotaping, trying to get into the courtroom to videotape against the judge's wishes. Um, and uh, he, his uh, counter offers a $250 fine, which is uh, not acceptable to me. I won't, I've already told them I won't pay a fine, so I certainly can't do that. Um, and uh, let's see, what else happened? I'll send him some sort of a counter offer. But uh, another piece of news, uh, there's a free stater who was apparently uh, had some sort of a run-in with the TSA. I think he's a free stater, a young man named Alex, lives in New Jersey. He's a frequent caller to Free Talk Live. Uh, and is a run-in with the TSA for wearing a dissenting T-shirt, uh, attempting to wear it on his flight. Um, and we'll probably hear more about that later. I believe that's all I've got for you. And, oh, by the way, uh, there was really pretty much massive attendance at the uh, at several uh, New Hampshire Tea Party rallies, you know, Tea, tea Party rallies uh, around the state. There was one in Keene, one in Concord, one in Manchester, at least on uh, April 15th. And the one in Manchester is thought to have been between one and 2,000 people. The one in Concord, apparently, which I didn't even know about, appears to have... Uh, past the 500 mark, according to some reports, but that's very second-hand. Anyway, it's good to see that. Mostly it was a pro-liberty event. A lot of free staters showed up. And uh, anyway, I have nothing else new or interesting to tell you, so that's the end of my report. Dave Ridley signing off live this April 16th, 2009.